Welcome back to Classy and Cat Play Resident Evil 2 Original OG. Oh, this was even before we grabbed the spray. Oh, shit. Wow. We need the spray, we need the jewel. Now we can go get the jewel? I guess, yeah. We didn't end up needing the crank, so... True. We but... haven't needed the crank at all yet, so let's dump that. Let's uh, dump nope. the shotgun shells, nope. we don't have the shotgun. But we're gonna get it, and then I'm gonna be like, I have no shotgun shells. Well, then we'll deal with that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, but we know how frequently they have, um, item boxes. Let's go get the first aid spray. No. Let's go get the jewel. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get the first aid spray. And then we'll put the jewels in there because we haven't found where they go yet. Oh. Remember what happened last time. Jesus Christ! Ah! I think it was in here? Yeah, it was in the back of this room. These doors are so inconsistent. There it is. I love how we found this, and then we found the journal telling us yeah, where it was. Yeah, like we, we solved everything on our own. And then we found the journal that's like the hint journal. There we go. Alright, let's try to not have a sexy zombie orgy this time. Wait, what about that was sexy? I don't know, that's kind of hot. She was on top of me, he was eating her ass. Okay, we're breaking up now. It's just... I'm just telling you, that's... I could get in on that. Ass eating? I mean, zombies I don't think, I think they'll eat anything. I mean, if you put it in their face, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> well, I guess that goes well in a relationship if you're a bad cook. <laughs> well, we can buy each other. There we go. So, I mean, like, you know. Okay, so we know not to run down that hallway. Right. This time. We we'll have ammo. Run. So we can kill the things yeah. in the electrical. Yeah. We'll run by them. There we go. Heep. Hop. Where are we hopping up the stairs? Like we have one leg. Heep. Oop. Heep. Yeah, like hopscotch. One foot, one foot, two foot, one foot, two foot. Well, maybe the, the key goes to here. It won't budge. It seems to be... Oh, no. It's not sealed from the other side. I'm pretty sure it goes to that desk. Like, you see the desk. You go, oh, I need a key. You walk through the door and you're like... Oh, oh there's a key. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're probably right. As usual. Duh, Claire! Where is he? Where is he? Oh. Maybe if I spray this on myself, yeah. she'll come back. Now that I got the axe, she'll have to love me. Every woman loves axe. It's funny, in Resident Evil 5, it legitimately looks like you're spraying body spray all over you. If I spray myself enough, I'll be so overwhelmed by the horrible stench that I won't realize I'm in pain. I think that's the logic. Alright. They look like a bunch of dogs. They do. Um, ah! Do the pack, do the pack. Mm. Oh, this is bad. Nice. Nice. No, I gotta get by him. I gotta knock them all down. Mm. Put me into caution. Yeah. Leave me alone. That wasn't even enough to get you out of caution. Well, I was in danger. And brought me into caution. Mm. Oh, this puzzle again? 
Uh, you have to go up the stairs and fall again. Yeah, well, there's got to be something else in here. Maybe it's under the staircase? Under the desk? Maybe. Oh, is this... Sorry, we didn't go here. We didn't check out this spot. It's about to be insta-death. Blah! Obviously. Oh, oh it's the second level of the precinct. Oh, what's this go to? Where does this go? Gabber Neverland. Oh, snap, son. Oh, that's where it goes. That, that's where... The crank? That's where the butt plug goes. Or the crank. It's a square hole. That's where the crank goes. This is where you do your... This drill. seems to be broken. It won't work. Well, now you know where the crank goes. All right, well, let's grab the butt plug, and then we'll go back and grab the crank. Or let's grab that key. And unlock the... And unlock the thing, and then we can go grab the crank. All right, so we're going to grab the butt plug before the crank. We are. We're going to grab the butt plug, and we're going to grab the crank. But we're also going to grab the key. Okay, key, butt plug, crank, butt plug, crank. Uh. Uh. <coughs> Jeez. Would you like to push the switch? I think I would. Move it to the right. To the right, to the right, everything Move it going to the right, to right, the right, right, right. To the right. Hooray! That butt plug. That was so easy. It was just right and right. There was nothing complicated or different about each press. I just think it's really weird that a police precinct has to create puzzles puzzles in their own precinct. Maybe this precinct is owned by Umbrella too. Maybe. Maybe Umbrella has a weird fascination with puzzles that are like secretly addicted to them. Oh shit. Don't mind me, don't mind uh, me, don't mind me. This part. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Keep Ignore running. me. Ooh. Because we can use the emergency ladder to go down and grab a thing and save, and we can go back up the emergency ladder. Go down and save, go down and save, so that we don't have to do all this shit again. Climbing down the ladder. Shouldn't we have just climbed down the ladder? That makes too much sense. Locked from the inside. Is this room right? I think so. I want to say it's like right next to that door. Yeah. Oh, and we can quickly run up and, and... Do the crank. Do the crank. It's up. Down. Right there. You can keep passing it. Alright. Oh, I need some ink for this one. Yeah. Look for one. So one thing I don't like about it is that you have to, like, get the ink ribbon. You can only use one, and then you save, and you have to remember when you load to get rid of the ink ribbon. Yep. Unless you just happen to only have one left. But you can't, like, separate them, so it's not like in the inventory you can be, like, split, so you can only ever just take one. Went to the computer again. <laughs> Cause you're a techie. I think we just, uh, they just need to be saving on the computer. It makes sense. I was, I was really annoyed when they announced that the remake is still gonna use typewriters. I, I don't, I, I appreciate it. But it's gonna be confusing as fuck. Apparently this whole front area looks completely different. Do you think that it'll still have like 90s style technology on the computer screen? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, the, the remake showed that, like, they're not updating the time at all. Like, it's 100%, like, takes place in the late 90s. Mila? 
Get off me! Go neck with someone your own species. Stranger danger! Look, I know it's my first day and all, but I'm not I into these... I'm not into these hazing techniques. Look how cool he is skipping every other step. Leon's too cool for school. He's eight. He's eight? Yeah, when you're like a kid and you're in elementary school, you're like, I can take two steps at a time because I'm awesome. Oh yeah, huh? Use the crank. Ooh, it's lowering something. <gasps> Stairs. Oh, my God. If this is Resident Evil 1, it'd be like, you'd still have the crank in your inventory. Yeah, you'd be like, does this mean I need to use it again? But we did have to use it again. No, we got a different crank. We never use that same crank again. Uh, okay. Other than You're to right. like, other we than to go back and yeah. By the end of it. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> it's a button. But no, we did use that crank. One of those crank. We did have to use those cranks more than once because oh, we had to. Oh, I need to... a cog. Because we had to crank it to lower the water and run across, and then we had yeah. to crank it to bring the water back up to do something uh, else. Power source for the clock. The gears are clean. And then there was that one. The iron plate seemed to have been recently moved. I wonder where it is. Let's see. Even when we're going down, we skip like every other step. It's graphical. We're just so cool. This means we have a purpose. We're in a hurry. Alright, so we got the crank. But we're, okay, so that means we're going to need to grab the key, that key, go back to see if it opens up that desk drawer thing. Right? Yeah. What? Yeah. So we have to continue going this way, go through the zombie maze. Leave me alone. Yeah. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. <laughs> That's what they wanted you to keep going for your neck. Oh boy. Don't give them away. Hickeys, hickeys are unprofessional. Ah! Get off me! Get off me! I know you're not so cool with hickeys, but how do you feel about his, bloodies? His arm fell off. I shook him off and his arm just dropped to the floor. There was a thing right here! <laughs> I didn't even notice it. We're idiots. We are. And there was a typewriter. I noticed that, but I was like, where is the chest? We need a chest. It was behind us. Don't make me read it again. Blah, 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 I guess we should save here, then. Such idiots. Such idiots! We've still got that butt plug. Well, we're gonna ram it up one of those zombies' electrical asses. Oh, and there's more ink ribbons. Great, now we have four of them. Oh, we were so close to only having one in that set. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to get down to just one ink ribbon? Leona, 05, waiting room. Leona, now calling number 5. Leona, to the waiting room. It is now your turn to wait. Alright, now we gotta go all the way back to that one room. Where there's the five zombies eating the, the other zombie. Cannibals. All of them. Were they eating the other zombie? There was somebody else that was dead. Oh. Get off me. You know zombies are... Oh, now we're hurting. 
Great. First aid spray. Now we're fine. You know that zombies are cannibals. Jeez, oh, we run so fast. When we're not hurting, boy do we, we run great. We're the Flash. We're the Flash. <laughs> Princess Liana. Liana. Princess Liana. We're in Leon's twin oh brother, Leona. It's locked. Yes, use a small key. Oh, what is that? Handgun parts. Why do we need handgun parts? I don't know. Can we combine it? Oh! Oh, what did we do? Check it out. Ooh, VP burst with the stock holster. Capable of firing three round auto bursts. Nice. We're going to auto, baby. Yeah. Now we can. Now we're ready. Okay, let's go shove that butt plug up somebody's ass. Yeah. The game was so innovative for its time. Like, let me look. It was really smart in how it did things too, like having the pre-rendered background so that they could do more things and have more things. Oh, get the fuck off me! Yeah, like it really was super ingenious. Like it essentially took what Final Fantasy VII had. Uh, had created and applied that technique to a whole new genre. But it doesn't feel like the same kind of RPG at that time because of the camera angles that are fixed. And there's so many of it. Like... And they change so frequently, like even in different parts of the room, that it feels more dynamic. It doesn't feel flat. Yeah, and that's what's really great about it. And it's really similar, like they take this the room and they just project it at a different angle so they can use a totally different backdrop, but you feel like you're in the same room. Well, it is. So like the way that I'm pretty certain they they did this is that they built this whole room in 3D. Cause like when you look at like the Resident Evil 1.5, there's one area that you can see essentially a room that's built without any textures on it. So then they get it in the right angle for the for the for the that they have planned out, and then they just render out the one frame as like a JPEG or as like a you know, still image. Then they go back in and just input the geometry data um, for that room in the room without actually creating the geometry, but then project the image onto that. So it gives that illusion of moving in three D. Which is a brilliant, freaking brilliant way of doing it. It's really cool. Like, I've done some 3D projection with, like, film video. Like, film and video stuff. To where you take a, a 2D image and then make it look like you're, in, you're moving in 3D space in it. And it's really, it's really cool how it works. Couldn't we not go this way? Didn't we have to go out this way? And you unlocked it. Right? Wasn't that right? We couldn't keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yes. Let's, let's go down. Okay. It was that we couldn't go up. The top door was locked out there. We just unlocked it. Fuck off, birds! Fuck off, birds! Find a phone booth! <laughs> this phone booth won't save you. Uh, That's how she screamed. Uh, uh. Look, Hitchcock was a great filmmaker. He didn't have the greatest actors, okay? 
Sometimes he did, but I'm pretty sure he just didn't have any other option at that moment. Like, he hired her, and she did a great job at what she was supposed to be doing. She just couldn't scream. Haha! <laughs> Saga! Saga! Suck on this! Actually, don't suck on this. I want to keep my suck, head. Suck, 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 Okay, Ooh, into the Electro can, Room. And we can pick up the stuff that we didn't pick up before. Yeah. Like that wheel and the other thing. Oh, maybe it's not a wheel. Maybe it's a gear. That looks like a wheel. The valve yeah. handle. Ooh, and more handgun ammo. And an ink ribbon. We can save in this room, too. That way, if we die... Like, look, they put that there, anticipating people would die. So they would be like, okay. Shut up, dog. Every time another dog... It's taken on a walk by our house. That dog loses his mind. Even when we walk out, that dog will lose its mind. Alright, zombies. I have my burst gun. You're about to die. What? I have it on auto, though. Maybe I'm going to there we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, get off me. So if you just tap it, he'll still fire at once, but if you hold it, it'll do a three round burst. Nice. Okay. It's too dangerous to go back outside. Really? That's it? We obviously needed something in this room. It was that valve. Back to the room with the gear. Maybe it's for there. Maybe. I'm just trying to think where else we had a valve. We needed a valve room. Run, Carter, run! Oh, what is she doing there? Behind you, bitch. You can't catch me. I'm a juke ya. What? I said I'm a juke ya. I don't know what that is. A juke? <gasps> oh. This valve. is where the valve goes. Uh huh. We keep finding things in the wrong order. <laughs> Ain't it great? That's what happened with Res 1, too. I promise. I've never played this game before. You hadn't even made it out of, like, the main area in Res 1, either. Why'd it bring me into here? <gasps> Butt plug! Oh. It... Cut out the helicopter, now you can climb in it? Maybe, yeah. It's a complete wreck. Ooh, handgun bullets. That's it? That's all that was for? No. What? There's gotta be more. Maybe I need to do more of the cranky crank. You don't need to use this right now. That's it? That was a lot of work for that. Okay, obviously we need the crank for something else. I bet there's a bunch of different... Oh, there's gotta be something else. Gotta do something. It's a complete wreck. Should we climb something? Helicopter's a complete wreck. Alright, well... That proved fruitful. Alright, I guess we 
Ah, ah, they're back. Um, Evil birds. Evil bird two. Evil bird one, evil bird two. Evil bird one, evil bird two. Evil bird two. And stay down. Ah! No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we do everything out of order. <laughs> the helicopter is probably on fire. On oh, the get, inside. On the inside, we can get past it. It's been neglected and is covered with dust. Oh, I don't like the looks of this room. Well, oh, I don't like this the, room. This is probably where the gems go. Oh, what's glittery? <gasps> Precinct key. Now we look at it. Shape of a diamond. diamond. I haven't seen a door that needed a diamond yet. Yep, this is where they go. Okay. About the size of a fist. Back to the treasure chest and the electric room. Armored stone statues stand. Reads. Tyrannos the Brave reviews with two lights. Find a chest. Is there anything else in here? <gasps> Ink ribbon. I thought I got all excited about that. Because when there's an ink ribbon, there's normally a... Ooh, more shotgun shells. There's normally a typewriter. We have no more rooms. I know, but we're going back to an area where we can dump stuff off at. No, I know. That's why I was I was just like, why are you still checking the room if you can't put anything else in your thing? Because in case Ah, uh, leave me alone, Frank. I thought you were nice about interview, Frank. I that door is covered in blood. Don't make me file a sexual harassment claim, Frank. All right. Uh, you need to go with the other shotgun shell. We'll put you away because we don't need you anymore. We don't have a shotgun. Oh yeah. We'll put you because we don't have a shotgun. And we'll keep the ink ribbon out so we can save, and then we'll put it right back. Should we get rid of the butt plug? I feel like we sure. haven't needed it yet. Sure. And we'll grab these. And then save. And we're gonna save. And we'll see what we do with those two jewels next time on Classy and Cat Play Resident Evil 2. Princess Leona. Our fourth hour, Leona. The waiting room? The waiting room? <laughs> you in the waiting room? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I'd already gotten to you. <laughs> <laughs>